Now really, the only reason that you should not learn Vim is because whenever you learn it, you're gonna feel stupid for not having learned it earlier, okay? Now, to be clear, on my channel, I talk a lot, a lot about all these computer projects and software programs, and you know, a lot of it, frankly, for most people is just interest. Like, oh, suckless software. Is it for everyone? No. Uh, is it useful? Oh, yes. Is it, you know, can it be very edifying for you? Definitely. Um, so there are a lot of things that are not for everyone, but I want to make clear one thing about Vim. Uh, if you use a computer for anything, even writing term papers or, you know, just, just even if you just like playing around on your computer, there is no reason for you not to know Vim and it will save you so much time and effort. A lot of people say, oh, I don't have enough time to learn Vim. No, you don't have enough time, time not to learn it. This is what I don't think people understand because... Uh, and yeah, yeah, maybe you have an IDE that you like using uh, that does computer programming for you, but I'm not, I'm not really even talking about that. I'm talking about Vim as an all-purpose editor. It, it's not just that it can write computer code. I'm not really talking to people who are writing computer code. I'm talking about once you start using Vim, something really changes in how you use a computer, in, including when I learned it. Now, just to, I, I don't know, before you learn Vim, this is usually how it works, okay? Uh, it, even if you're a computer guy, you might use a computer, but you know, the terminal is something scary, okay? You, you might even know how to use some basic commands. Oh, I can use grep, you know, something like that. Um, but the, the terminal is something scary. It's something where that you do things in when you have no other option, you know? Or maybe you wanna look cool because you're stupid, but you don't actually know how to use the thing. Um, and it ultimately, you don't have that ability. Like you're still in that mode of, I'm gonna look up how to do something on the internet, right? And I'm going to uh, figure out, I don't, I don't know, like look at Stack Overflow to figure things out, okay? But once you learn Vim, something changes in the sense that uh, it suddenly becomes, like very quickly, Vim becomes the most efficient way for you to edit text. It might take a week or so for you to get used to it. You, you know, take Vim Tutor, go to type in Vim Tutor a couple times and, and go through it. I don't know, you can watch my videos. I did an hour long commentary on Vim Tutor that's actually very good, I might add. Um, but once you learn Vim, you learn to relish, you learn to enjoy using the command line because you realize it is much more efe efficient. Now, of course, Vim itself isn't a command line, but it's a command line program. And um, you, you start to, you start liking text files. You start liking the extensibility of them. You realize, oh, not I, I can't just, um, it's not that I can only just modify this in Vim, I can also use this with other programs, the other command line programs that I know how to use because I'm using text now. I'm not using something, I don't know, like more, uh, you know, let's say you write a document, you're not using like Microsoft Word or something like that. Um, so once you learn Vim, it, it sort of changes you. You, you, start, you start off being afraid of using the computer or like doing complicated quote unquote things, but then you suddenly become very good at those, those things, right? Um, and even for people, like I was not doing any kind of programming when I started learning Vim, or once I learned Vim, I mean, I was just like compiling documents, like I was writing things in LaTeX. Um, and then I started using it to modify my system settings, modify my dot files. Uh, it is totally stupid to modify your dot files in some graphical editor, right? It is so much easier to use something like Vim, then you can have Vim shortcuts on, uh, you know, you, you can put in aliases on your command line to bring up, you know, Vim opening a file. That's what I started doing. It becomes very easy, you know, if you're a noob to, uh, you know, edit all of these files to do all these different things. So you, you, you take the Vim pill, you start out as someone who's afraid of the command line. Maybe you're just faking it, right? Maybe, maybe you're just sort of, oh, I like computer stuff, but I don't know how to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, then you start realizing, oh, it's so much easier for me to do this and that more. I can start using command line programs. It's, it's way easier. They make no they might make no sense to you whatsoever. Said, awk, I don't know, those are all scary. But once you start using uh, plain text files uh, and using things like Vim as an editor, it opens the door for you doing other things on the command line. Uh, you start m messing with system settings, right? You start metting, messing with your dot files. You start changing things. You start optimizing things. Th that's what it naturally gets you into. Um, and even just in the realm of text editing, even assuming that it's not gonna make any changes in your other computing habits, Vim is just so beyond um, 
uh, even IDEs in like how it can modify text. Like IDEs are really made for particular languages. Like they have, I mean, even Emacs is the same way. Like Emacs has like modes, you know, each language has a slightly different mode and th you know, things work a little di bit differently. But Vim, unlike Emacs, unlike, uh, 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 you know, IDEs and stuff like that, it is generalized. It, you know, Vim commands apply in any language. Uh, they are universal. It's not just for programming. It, it, I mean, the the shortcuts in Vim are optimized for just modifying text in the way that people usually, you know, modify text. Uh, one way that I've often explained it to people is that I mean, like vi like Vim bindings are there because they replicate the the things that you want to do in your head. Like, oh, delete a paragraph. Replace it with it. Replace the stuff in parentheses with this. Right? Those are those are like two three key presses in Vim to, to do very specific things that otherwise you would be highlighting all this stuff manually with your mouse and deleting it and blah, blah, blah. Vim is just so much better at all of that stuff, okay? I, I, I want people to understand, and as I said at the beginning, you know, uh, a lot of people say, oh, it takes time to learn. I'm, I'm, I don't know, I'm a smooth brain. I can't figure that out. Listen, you're gonna feel so stupid whenever you learn Vim you're gonna feel so stupid for not doing it earlier. I was the same way. I feel so stupid I didn't do this five years earlier. Even when I had no reason to do it. Like that, that's the thing. But what I'm trying to say is it might seem, oh, well, I can uh, you know, edit text a little faster. It doesn't matter. What I'm trying to say is it puts you in a position where you, you, can, you, like you start being able to enjoy a world you didn't know existed. Okay, you start being able to modify system settings. You start being able to uh, you know, do all this crazy stuff. And um, like, it's, it's one of those things like, you know, every, every tool needs, you know, every solution needs a problem. You know what I mean? Like once you're able to use Vim, you realize, oh my goodness, there are all these other things that I could be doing right now. Oh my goodness, I, I can use the, this to do this or that or the other, right? Um, and you know, and of course, you know, when I made my, uh, my uh, when I made LARBs, where you can install my whole system and stuff like that, all of it is based on Vim. Right. And I even know that the weird thing for me, I mean, this is not, you know, sliding anyone out there, but I know that some people even use my dot files, but they don't know how to use Vim. And that drives me nuts because it's like, why, firstly, why would you do that? All the bindings are based on Vim. Like you're sort of implicitly learning Vim anyway. Um, but it's one of those things where, uh, it, it, there, you could just be getting so much more from it. It's, it's just a waste not to know it. And that is usually how I describe, like, if you are one of those people who's like, Oh, I want to learn more about computers. Oh, but I can't figure it out. Oh, what what books should I buy? Books. Lame. Books are lame. Just learn Vim and start doing things that you want to do anyway. Or that you will soon learn to want to do anyway. But, you know, th that's it. It's, it, it. It is a text editor that is unlike any other. Uh, I mean, it, it sounds like when you tell a normie, like, uh, let's say they're talking about Vim. Or, or you're talking about Vim. They're like, what's that? you know, and you tell them it's a text editor, they're like, why does it matter? Who, who cares about text editors? But it's one of those things where it change, it just changes the way you look at a computer and the way you get things done. Um, so that's why you should, you definitely, listen, go to your terminal right now. If you don't know it, type in Vim Tutor. I did a video, ser search my name, Luke Smith Vim Tutor. I have an hour long commentary going through Vim Tutor. Well, once you do it yourself, okay? They're talking about a whole bunch of other stuff that you can add on to that that's just a great addition. Um, just learn it. Like you are wasting time. Yeah, like time is money. You are wasting it if you do not know Vim. And if you are using a computer and you don't know Vim, it is pathetic. Honestly, it's like, it, like meeting someone who doesn't know Vim in the computer world is like meeting someone who isn't potty trained. Okay. Like you need to learn Vim, even if it's not going to be your text editor of choice, you can still use your IDE that you like. Okay. I'm not saying you have to use Vim. I'm just saying you definitely need to learn it because it will be useful and you will realize you can do so many more things. Uh, than what you're doing now. And, and maybe you'll still like your ID. That's fine. You know, I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing. Th there are many things IDEs do. Vim can basically do all of them. Just Vim has, you know, sort of bad discoverability because there are all these secret, you know, shortcuts that no one knows about, but um, it doesn't telegraph everything. Anyway, just learn it. Vim Tutor. Look at my Vim Tutor video. That's about it.